typing, clicking, and jotting, all in a typical day's work in an office that's anything but. This office floats, letting these guys see what our eyes can't. I perform hydrographic surveys. Using sound beams to map the ocean floor. 101 beams that are going down to the bottom. The Maritz builds a virtual model. Looking at 400 lines now. So accurate, it's like seeing more than 45 feet below the surface. This is part of the ocean. These channels fill in, show up, and are forever changing. Something that we have to stay on top of. Because what's below matters to recreational and commercial ships. This port is the largest on the East Coast. You know, we have a lot of trade that comes into the harbors. In fact, more than a million containers pass through the New York Harbor each year. We have to make sure that passage is available for all the vessels that come through. Commercial craft that goes into the rivers and creeks, and they have to be able to pass through, and we make those checks to make sure that they're able to. Knowing where obstacles are and where to dredge is vital information and technology may make it look easy. But, but then when you have wind, current, and other vessels and everything else that's happening, it's hard. Hardware to do the job has its price. Well, this boat here is about five million bucks. We're, we're a catamaran, and we have hydrofoil where we can lift out of the water about three feet. Equipping this ship to deal with New York traffic. Ships, you got water taxis, you got it all, barges, tugboats, you have everything out here. All dependent on information from this floating office. Mary Cochran, New York Harbor, New York. More core news is at usace.army.mil.